Not to worry about this, about losing weight without ruining that social life. Maybe you find it easy to stick to your diet when you're home, but at parties and eating out, they throw you off track. So that you're surrounded by temptations. You want to have fun with your family and friends instead of thinking about that calorie counting and measuring portions. You can make healthy choices while enjoying a social life, I promise you. You'll have a difficult time, though, keeping the weight off unless you're able to keep your goals in sight when you're out in public. I'm Matt before I go quick. My name is Jen Plyke, your holistic empowerment coach. TV you from a place to stick to authentic thriving, through personal training, group fitness, nutrition coaching, life and empowerment coaching, and educational stuff just like this. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow. That way you'll learn anytime I bring you relevant information. So let's dive in. Let's try these ideas to help you turn your family and friends into allies um, and prepare them for the most common and challenging situations. So dealing with your friends and family, number one, ask for help. Experts say the social support um, groups like Weight Watchers have so much success stories because of the support they offer. So let the loved ones know what kind of practical and emotional assistance you may need. You, unless you ask or unless you and tell them, they can never know what you need. So make sure you use your voice and tell them. Number two, team up. You probably know someone who shares your desire to slim down. Collaborate so you can keep track of each other's company and hold one another accountable for working out and eating your vegetables. Now, they change the subject. There may also be people who tend to undermine your positive intentions or just lack much interest in what you ate for breakfast. Hey, you know, you'll be more fun to be around if you talk about things other than your diet, of course. So, number four, plan an agenda. Seek entertainment places other than restaurants and bars. Invite a friend to go rock climbing. Bring your children to a science museum instead of an ice cream parlor. Five, take responsibility. Remember that you control what you eat and drink. And you have to live with the consequences. If It will help you keep better peer pressure in perspective. So now dealing with eating out, that's another beast. So number one, preview the menu. Most restaurants post their menus online these days. Find out what your options are so you can decide what to order without being tempted by all those specials. The entire menu. Two, shrink your servings. Can't trust enough. Many restaurants serve jumbo portions. Eat half or even a third of what's on your plate and take the rest home for breakfast or for lunch or dinner. If you think you'll be too prone to gobbling it all down, ask the server. Pick the vent number three. Pick the venue. Some restaurants offer a wider selection of delicious low calorie items. Have a list of local favorites handy so you can um, recommend where to go on a date nights or weekends or brunches. Number four, make substitutions. Ask your server if you can customize your meal. For example, you may be able to get extra vegetables or a green salad instead of french fries or order your grilled fish instead of fried. If your meal includes sauces, see if you can get them on the side. Number five, circle the salad bar. You might think that salad is a safe choice, but it depends. On all the other ingredients you optimally put in. So what's available at the salad bar before you order? Go easy on the shred cheese, bacon, heavy dressings. Load up on leafy greens and other vegetables. Six, have a snack. If you know that you tend to overindulge in your birthday cake or barbecued ribs, curb your appetite before you leave home. Eat a cup of yogurt, hummus, and baby carrots. Number seven, limit Alcohol cocktails contain a lot of empty calories and can make you crave cheeseburgers and buffalo wings. Draw the line at one drink and make it wine or spirits with zero calorie mixer like club soda. Planning ahead and building a strong support system will help you slim down and still enjoy hanging out with your loved ones. After all, healthy eating and a close relationship both play a part, a big role actually in your happiness and well-being. So, remember, this is all about a lifestyle. It's not about a quick fix. So, you're making changes to your lifestyle. So, give yourself grace. Make sure you're making those small, tiny changes weekly. Ask yourself, this week, what is one micro habit I can change? One small thing I can change is getting up five minutes earlier, going for just a five-minute walk this week. And the next way I add to it, what can I build upon? I'm going to go start going for an eight-minute walk, a ten-minute walk. Anything is doable, sustainable, lasting, realistic, and practical fits in your life now and fits into your life 10 years from now. All right. Once again, for this, someone you think would benefit from this, like, subscribe, follow if you haven't yet. 
Um, and remember, you're only one habit away. Try maybe your habit is one of these tips. Be brave, be kind, live authentically, and always shine. shine and I cannot wait to see you again.